Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. Welcome back to Yield Weekly Beauty Chit Chat, the video that goes up most Fridays here on my channel where I share all the fun, frivolous, completely unnecessary beauty products that I was personally loving over the course of the past week. As always, I have a fun little roundup of things that I want to share with you guys. Um, I will go ahead and list and link everything that I'm sharing, hopefully in the order that I'm sharing it, in the description box right below this video. If you want to go read up more about other people's thoughts on any of these products, um, go check out reviews. Um, if you want to know price point, um, check out ingredient decks. Uh, the description box is usually a plethora of information. So feel free to click on that for more info. And um, yeah, without further ado, how was your week? Did you have a lovely week? I had a good week. Honestly, I felt really good this week. Um, hormonally, for some reason, I feel really balanced right now. Uh, I, I'm not on hormone replacement therapy yet, by the way. I just, but just a little perimenopause update for those of you that are following that journey. I finally got approval for my biopsy that I need to have done in order to be able to get the hormone replacement therapy for that, my little lump friend in my chest. Um, just if you, no need to be concerned. In all likelihood, it is scar tissue from a breast reduction that I had back in 2013, um, but they just wanna make sure. But of course, because it's America and insurance here is fun, I had to wait for the insurance company to approve the biopsy and let the clinic know that they can finally call me to schedule an appointment, and that happened this week. So I think it's in either two or three weeks I'm going in and having that biopsy done, and then I will be able to give you an update on where I'm at. So anyway, um, yeah, that's, that's what's going on with me, but I felt great this week. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like my skin is just really glowy. I just, I feel happy. I feel very content. Like, you know, on the roller coaster of perimenopause, I think it's one of those weeks where I'm having an up, which is yay for me. I hope you are having some ups. <laughs> if you're having a down, I'm really sorry. I know how you feel. But anyway, let me know how you're doing. Let me know if you have any exciting plans for the weekend. Uh, drop it down below in the comments. And you guys, let's get into it, because why not? Let's start with perfume, because it's my favorite place to start. Okay, you guys voted that Beach Day was gonna be next in terms of the latest Pacifica fragrance that I was gonna review for you guys. So I will have an in-depth review of this ready to go probably early next week. Um, I was kind of sad because Montana Sky got like no votes. <laughs> Actually, I think one or two of you were like, yay, Montana Sky. Um, I, this one's very interesting. What I might do is just upload two separate reviews on the same day, because I kind of felt bad for Montana Sky. <laughs> so, but Beach Day, you guys, listen up. If you like that like salty ocean air vibe kind of fragrance, I have I have the perfume for you. This is delightful. This actually inspired me to go back to another fragrance that I showed you guys a couple of weeks ago, the Skylar Isle Escape. Listen, if you have this $90 Skylar uh, Isle Escape fragrance and you love it, you're gonna love this. What are these now, 27 dollars I think they're $27, don't quote me on that. Um, but we're getting like a whole extra ounce from you know like what the packaging used to be for not even like $10 more. Like, this is such a great price point. Anyway, if you love this, I'm positive you're gonna love this. And if you just want to collect all of the beachy scents, I would highly recommend this so far. Mm, this is actually what I'm wearing today. You guys look at this nice mist that they are giving us with this sprayer. Ah! Isn't it beautiful? Just perfect distribution. Oh man, I'm telling you, it, this is so aptly named. It just reminds me of going to the beach. Um, it's very fresh. You smell a little bit of like that saltiness in the fragrance as well. And it, I don't know, it's, it's a really happy scent. If you're looking for something fun for the summertime and you don't have any of these beachy scents uh, and you know, and you don't wanna spend a ton of money on that type of fragrance, you gotta check this one out. It's really good. Also. I was sporting this one a couple days this week as well because I just, I love both of these. Um, I will say they're not like mirror fragrances, but they're in the same category. Um, Isle Escape, 
I think has like a kind of like soft powderiness to it in addition to like that beachy salty ocean air kind of vibe. It's really beautiful though. I love this one. It's so good. I used to not enjoy these beachy scents at all. Um, but man, I, you know, one thing that I will say uh, that getting older has sucked in some ways, but it has encouraged me to kind of expand my fragrance tastes a little bit more. I feel like my nose enjoys a lot of different types of fragrances now, whereas before I was just pretty like dead set on like, it needs to either be fruity, it needs to be gourmand, or it needs to be like a clean, floral or a rose <laughs> I was really into rose based scents for a while um but now I'm starting to appreciate a wider range and that's I mean I don't know I think that's a good thing I like trying new things so it just opens up a whole other world of fragrances that I didn't even know I enjoyed so I'm here for it all right should we do let's do some hair next because I got to update you guys on the color wow money mist so this is their luxe light leave-in conditioner for glossy expensive looking hair i purchased this because my friend susan <laughs> who is kind of my color wow guru i feel like susan always tries the new stuff from color wow and then she reports back to me um and is like yeah go do it and she told me to, to do it and i did it and susan was right <laughs> We should all trust Susan. <laughs> anyway, this is such a nice lightweight leave-in, you guys. It is fabulous. And it has the incredible fragrance of the Color Wow Money Mask. If you, if you tried that mask, it has the exact same scent. Listen, I'm probably not the person to follow if you are looking for fragrance-free products. I don't mind fragrance in any of my products, even my skincare products. But you have to understand that my skin type is very tough. Um, like I just don't react to a lot of things uh, in terms of my face, my neck, I have to be a little bit more careful of, but like I don't mind fragrance in my skincare, which is why I'm always like so forthcoming about like the fragrance in products or what something smells like, just so that if you're one of those people that, you know, is trying to avoid fragrance, like so that you're aware <laughs> and not buying things that you get and you know, at home you're like, what on earth? I can't even use this. So. But if you want really great smelling hair, um, I would definitely suggest this. But also, look at how shiny my hair is. Like, it really does make my hair a little bit more shiny. And it is naturally gray. Um, you know, I, I get new people that subscribe every single day. And so um, a lot of people that are new are not aware that, like, I don't do this on purpose. This is just my bad genetics. Um, I went gray very early in life. And I got tired of trying to cover it up. Like I wasn't trying to be avant-garde or unique. In fact, I went gray um, before it really became like a major trend. I just got tired of paying to have my hair done all the time. So this is pure laziness um, and just rough genetics. So, but I'm just gonna rock it. I love it. I don't know. I'm really happy with my gray hair. Um, I love to see other women embracing their gray hair. But I do also understand that there are a lot of people out there who cannot like wrap their brain around embracing gray hair because it makes them personally feel older or maybe a little bit more dowdy. I don't know. There's a whole host of reasons that people have shared with me. But for me, I just have chosen to embrace it and rock it and um, I love it. So anyway, uh, but gray hair can look dull. I will absolutely own that. So. Any product that claims to add shine, I'm always here for it. And look at that, look at that. That's naturally gray hair that has some shine to it. Um, and just so you know, that my hair is also naturally this straight and fine and thin. <laughs> this was my lot in life and I'm just trying to work with it, people, okay? But this, listen, if you're in the market for a new leave-in, it's been fabulous. It hasn't weighed my hair down um, and it smells so very good please note that you do have to push this little button forward in order to get the product to release because for the first you know like time that i was trying to use I didn't, I didn't think to like mess with this little button up here and i was like ah it's broken of course it is um yeah it wasn't broken i just i don't read instructions so but this is fabulous 10 out of 10 would recommend all right let's move into some skincare if you are a lover of the Cause RX Snail Power Mucin, um, 
boy, do I have a scream and deal recommendation for you. Run, don't walk to your local Costco. Um, I had to do a Costco run earlier this week and look at what I found. Okay, first of all, you don't just get like these two things, you get like two of each. So two big bottles of the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. And this is brand new to me. I've never tried this. I've been curious about it, but the Advanced Snail 92 all in one cream. So you get two of these, two of these for under $40. It's such a good deal, you guys. Now I did try the Peach Slices Snail Mucin products and texturally, those are, I would say, probably going to be more appealing to the vast majority of people because we all know that the texture of the snail mucin, it, it's, it's, it's a little rough. Can you guys, yeah, you see that? That it kind of, um, you know, and cover your ears if you don't like graphic descriptions, but it looks like runny kid snot. <laughs> That's always what this uh, particular product has reminded me of. But I tell you what, if you can get past the texture, this has the most beautiful hydrating effect on my skin for the daytime. Um, this is one of my like light um, daytime moisturizers that I will layer <laughs> during the day. Um, I just, I have loved this for many, many years. And when I saw this set at Costco, I was like, I, yeah, I'm gonna buy it. I mean, I usually just buy this at Ulta. And if you don't have a Costco membership, I will link it at Ulta. But I just couldn't get past what a good deal this was. But anyway, back to the fact that this is just a wonderful daytime hydrator for me. Um, we are going into the warmer weather months. So I'm actually getting ready to kind of do a little bit of a skincare edit. Um, towards the middle end of May, I will share another like skincare get ready with me routine for the morning and the evening. And that will feature the products that I'm going to be using probably from May all the way through September when we head into fall and then, you know, we change things out again. So, but I just, this is such a good deal. Listen, if you are familiar with these products, you know what a scream and deal that is. So if you are heading to Costco anyway, stop by their beauty section, pick this up. By the way, the snail uh, all in one cream. I've never used this before. I really love this. So I've been using this one during the evening because it is thicker. It is definitely more of like a gel lotion type of texture. So a lot thicker and it does, ha it does do that you see the the slime <laughs> it does do that as well but um this like on my neck has been so soothing at night just absolutely fabulous so um yeah anyway big big fan huge huge fan of that whole set okay uh cranberry gamage from arcana i purchased quite a number of arcana products i can't remember if it was like a year or a year and a half ago and then like just didn't put them in my bathroom and i was recently looking through my little backup skincare closet over here um looking for something for stella that she needed and i came across not only the toner from the cranberry line but also the gommage i really like this if you are looking for a physical or manual exfoliator and listen i know they're not for everybody if you have sensitive or delicate skin don't use this D just avert your eyes altogether but um if you have kind of tougher skin and you're dealing with a little bit of like flakiness i really enjoy a manual exfoliator <laughs> you have to be gentle you cannot be aggressive there's no need to be aggressive with these but i really think in this one they are using it feels very very smooth i think they're using what are like maybe like jojoba beads or something don't quote me on that but this is not like super gritty or aggressive at all the only thing i don't like about this Speaking of fragrance, because normally I, I love me some fragrance, I really wish that this actually smelled like cranberries since it's in their cranberry line, but it smells like um, grape Kool-Aid, which is not my favorite smell, but it works like a dream. Um, I've been using this just a uh, couple times a week uh, in the shower in the mornings and just very gently exfoliating my skin. And I feel like I have a really nice glow to my skin right now. And I think it's because I've been getting rid of, you know, some dead skin cells. I am very good about exfoliating my skin on the regular because that's just what works best for my particular skin type. 
I'm very oily. Even at 45, I have enlarged pores. I deal with overactive oil glands. And I know it's a blessing. It is a, it is a blessing. I'm trying to remember that every time that, you know, it's the end of the day and I look very shiny. <laughs> It's a blessing. It is, it is causing me to age a little bit more slowly than some of my counterparts who have a dry skin type. But that being said, it's, it's still a pain in the butt. So, but anyway, I'm really enjoying this. It's delightful, but also I enjoy my Derma E microdermabrasion as well, which is significantly less expensive. So Arcana is one of those, it's like a spa brand. Um, I don't know. I went to a spa once that used their products and I was like, I like this stuff. So it's in my home now. By the way, if you're hearing snoring, Alf is behind me. He is joining us for today's video. Okay, I wanna try to keep this around 20 minutes, maybe 21, 22. So let's keep going. Okay, I am gonna do an in-depth review of this with a little demo next week, but I'm loving it. You guys, this is gonna be fabulous for the summertime. This is the new, the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Powder. Uh, sorry, water powder serum. This is a mattifying and priming face serum. It's fabulous. Listen, if you've, if you've got oily skin like me, uh, you might wanna check this out. I like this even better than her balm. I really like the balm a lot, and I, I hit pan on mine. I need to finish it. I know, I need to finish it. That's It's on the docket, but this is the Danessa Myricks mattifying product or like primer product that I will personally go back to. So far, I'm loving it. Although I will say uh, it's it's got a little bit weird, like a like a kind of a weird applicator situation, but um, we'll talk a little bit more about that in the in depth video. But if you've been curious about it, it's working really well for this oily girl. So if you're in the market, I would suggest it. Um, okay, the live tinted Hue Skin Brightening Core Setting Powder in Light. I've been using it this week what a great color match right like it looks so good um and i really like this little lavender circle in the middle oh please don't be so bright oh there we go er, oh look at that focus folk no now you want to focus on my face okay listen uh there's a like a little purple center in this and it really does liven up my skin tone a little bit i feel like um this is a wonderful mattifying powder um i use this to set my powder foundation um it's been great and um it's a it's a really nice color match for my skin and i just i've yeah it absorbs excess oil if that's what you're looking for um i like this a lot i saw this in the like new section at um at Ulta and uh, as soon as I saw it I was like get in my cart I need that okay so for eyeshadows this week I have been playing with these two uh, palettes here what are these okay first of all these are like really great tart um, empty palettes that I purchased a number of years ago um, hopefully you most of you guys who have been here for a while saw those videos and also picked these up because they are massive and they are just fabulous look at how big and it comes with an amazing mirror and these are like these have a nice strong like magnet to them so i've been traveling with these and they don't ever like pop open they're just they're great anyway i don't even know if these are still available i should probably stop talking about how great they are but in here i have a bunch of sydney grace shadows and also in here i have a bunch of sydney grace shadows i have most of the like shimmery shades in here um so this week, I, I was supposed to be using a little bit more of the Viseart, um, but I was reaching for these. These are great. So Sydney Grace Shadows, you can purchase in singles. I, they also have some curated you know, palettes on their website as well. It took me a long time to try these, but I tell you what, they are wonderful. I really enjoy the formulation. Um, their shimmer shades are so stunning. Today I have, um, what is this? immortal and oh come on i don't want to like break any of the, uh, or jam my nails into them getting them out and then peace yeah so immortal and peace they're oh gosh they're so similar i don't think you need both of these but anyway i mixed both of these onto my lid oh camera stop it oh sorry technology um but yeah anyway 
check them out. These are these are fabulous. I think they're six bucks a piece. I, I think they're roughly around six dollars a piece. But yeah, I have most of the matte shades over here, and then most of the shimmers over here, and they're wonderful. So I don't know if you're into Sydney Grace, you should check them out. Okay. And then the thing that I want you guys to vote on for next week is I want to do another like eyeshadow tutorial. Um, you guys uh, seem to really enjoy the last shadow tutorial that I did. So I'm really trying to feature a lot of like older palettes in my collection because I just have been trying really hard to avoid purchasing a bunch of like new palettes as of late because I still have so many older ones in my collection that I'm just not ready to let go of yet. And so it doesn't make sense to bring in new palettes when I'm not willing to let go of any other ones yet. So I picked two older palettes from Anastasia that I think the vast majority of you probably already have in your collection. And I wanna do just a really nice neutral eyeshadow tutorial for those that are interested. So choose between the Anastasia Modern Renaissance, which if you will recall has more of these like pinky shades, nice, nice neutral palette, maybe for the spring summer, or the soft glam, which is, I think this one leans a little warmer. Um, there's a couple cool shades in here, but it leans obviously just a little bit warmer. So let me know which of these palettes you would like to see the tutorial in. Take, take a little um, can I add a poll? I'll see if I can add like a poll or something as like a pinned comment. Can I do that? I don't even know. I'm, I'm going to try and figure it out. But anyway, um, let me know which one. Look in the comments and see if I can figure out how to do a poll. I've seen people doing this, so I think it's possible. But anyway, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you so much. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you are loving this week. Let me know which palette you'd like to see the tutorial for. And I hope you just have a fabulous weekend. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.